Hi everyone, uh, I'm Adam Bergen, and today I want to talk to you about a concept which very few people seem to understand, particularly in the state government, and that is the government's role in regulating private players, private enterprises um, in their conduct of businesses. Now, why should government intervene in private affairs? Well, when those private players are inordinately more powerful than the public players, then you need to start thinking about regulating. I will give you an example in terms of healthcare. Would you, you who are watching this, be more likely to go to a private hospital or to civil hospital Shillong for your healthcare needs? Forget about needs. Let's talk about civil hospital versus a private hospital in Meghalaya. Most of you would say that you would be more comfortable in a private hospital, right? Even though government has a huge number of healthcare institutions, most of the time they are really badly maintained. They have no staff, they have no medicines. And so people are pushed indirectly into private healthcare systems. Now, there's a big problem with that because when you start doing that, indirectly you're privatizing healthcare. And if you decide to privatize healthcare, you had better come in as their safeguard, as their protector against abuse, against uh, theft. Government has refused to do this for a very long time. Recently, there was a very important story which came out in the newspaper in which... Uh, People were complaining that these huge bills that they were getting for corona uh, treatment, which were ridiculous bills, actually. Um, the government, instead of regulating, what did the government say? Uh, AL Hack came on and said, you know what, we're going to raise the amount of coverage from 6,000 or something along those lines to 60,000 under the MHIS. That's not regulating. Actually, that's capitulating to private enterprises. Think about it properly first. When I come in and I say, you know what, it's okay. Let's not argue. Let's not fight about it. Here's the money. Go away. What does that mean? It means that the private players will continue happily to take that money and uh, will, will continue charging huge amounts of uh, money from uh, the patients who come to them. Because you haven't come in on behalf of the patient and said, you know what, why is this bill so high? I want to check it out. Come on, give it to me. I want to regulate how much you're going to charge these people. I'm going to put a cap at how much you can charge. Certain things like medicines have been regulated in that sense. But again, there's so many loopholes. And unless government ties up those loose ends, it's not going to work. Regulation means that the government has to come in and control the private sector. Because right now, the private sector in the healthcare space, man, it is having a wonderful time. Since this pandemic came in, there have been multi uh, millionaires being made every day, and they're all connected with healthcare. This is a very, very big problem, and government's uh, negligence of its role as regulator is a very important thing that we should raise. It's not just healthcare. Take the classic case of education, for example. Where would you, who are watching this, and including people who are in the villages, where would they be most likely to send their children? Government schools or private schools? Why? Because government schools are pretty terrible. Okay, so you're pushing people into private schools. But do you regulate those private schools? In 2012, 2011-12, uh, uh, a convoy of religious leaders successfully lobbied with the then uh, education minister, R.C. Lalu, to exempt, exempt a lot of private schools from falling under very good provisions of the RTE, including having PTAs, parent-teacher associations, because their argument was that, you know what, most of our... Uh, uh, most of our schools are in the rural areas and they don't know anything about uh, management. Well, you don't know anything about management either. You're, you're, you're a priest. 
the government really needs to grow a backbone and start regulating as it should be doing. I know it's a lot of work. You have to do a lot of research. You have to read up a lot of stuff. You have to go through price uh, lists. You have to look at different indices and parameters. Please do it. That's your job. One of the reasons why the state is in such a big, big mess, horrible, wet, sticky, humid mess, is because previous governments have refused, refused to regulate private excesses. They have refused to do this. Why? Because, quite frankly, they're friends with the industrialists, the business people, and all these fly-by-night characters who are, quite frankly, very dirty people. I'm not talking about honest business people who pay their taxes and do charity work, whatever, whatever. Those are great. But there are also 80% who are not great, who are going to try to escape uh, regulation and uh, any sort of monitoring, they're going to try to squeeze every last drop of money from people. So this is why we need government. We need the government to protect us. How can I, as an individual, protect myself from such big, big players? I don't blame just this government, even though this is probably one of the worst governments we've had in a very long time, but I also blame previous governments who have been such chummy, good friends with these abusers. It's not a coincidence. Private sector has a large amount of lobbying power and a lot of it is not even money. It's just people that they know. And so they get away with, in this case, theft, robbery, sometimes even murder, they get away with it. Are we gonna stand for that? 